Is it possible to go from absolutely nothing to completing contracts in Tier 3 in just one game? Let's take a fresh operator and find out. I'm pretty nervous about how this game is gonna go. We are here, a brand new, fresh operator. We are going from zero to hopefully hero here, but I wanted to try it in a different way. So this is gonna be less of a tutorial and walkthrough and more of an experience or an experiment that we're gonna share together. So first things first, we gotta do some contracts, collect some points, and start looting as much as we can because I really want to see if I can find, ooh, well there's a gun I can definitely use. I want to try and find like rucksacks and armor plates as quickly as I can and I'm going to do my best to avoid the more traditional and low-hanging fruit ways of getting backpacks and armor plates. Specifically I'm going to be avoiding the mercenary stronghold for the three plate even though that's free and that's definitely the easiest. Oh that's a double points. Oh that's going to be so clutch for this contract that's going to give us double the points. There we go and what do we get in here? A self revive and and Deadwire. That's not exactly what I was looking for, but oh well. Let's head on into this contract. I'm mainly looking for 5,000 points and stamina up if it's close by. Nope, oh, stamina up is right here. All right, very good. That's actually pretty darn close. We'll just take care of this mimic with our blue gun that we found in the wall, or off the wall, off the wall, in that loot chest. Oh my goodness. Get that trigger finger going. Come on, donuts. Nice. All right, anything good in here? Elemental pop. We'll take it. Why not? I'll take a cluster mine as well. Anything in the fridge? Uh, nothing. Okay. Ooh, a chest. Look at that. Oh, Casimir Speed Cola Turret Circuit. Let's go. That was the luckiest tier one chest you'll ever find. And then we're going to hop in this boat. Oh my goodness. And look at that. There's a little rift here. Now, I know sometimes along with this rift, there's like, um, what do you call it? Some loot chests over here. It doesn't look like it. That's a bummer. No, all right. Well, we'll just head into this rift here and start making progress. So I guess we'll go straight up here to wherever stamina up is very good and we got ourselves stamina up very good and oh wow we got an hvt contract right here somewhere that's gonna get us even more points which is awesome all right mangler where are you at sir oh there you are cool oh here have a thermite okay thank you oh boy he's probably gonna be a lot harder to take out than the mimic is oh boy that's all right we have this building we can train around Ooh, insta kill i'll take that for sure that should be really really good damage yeah look at that very good and and tombstone and another self revive. All right. I hate to do it, but I think we got to do one more tier one contract for 10,000 points. I thought of this strategy. Well, strategy. It's like something that uh, I actually forgot about for quite some time until recently. I was at work thinking about how to do a zero to hero run. And uh, I had the realization that, oh my goodness, I completely forgot about this like really important gameplay mechanic. And don't worry, it's nothing crazy. I just forgot that wall weapons existed. It appears that the mimic is stuck inside of the mercenary stronghold. Isn't that lovely? Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to cancel that contract, unfortunately. I hope that doesn't like mess up our contract streak or containment level, I guess, but not that big of a deal. We have a cargo delivery mission. Should be just as fast. Plus having this cargo truck will probably help out with what I wanna do next. Nice and easy. And hopefully we can get a, no, that's a stamina up game. Oh, but we got a medium rucksack, which is nice. I was hoping for a pack a punch crystal. Now I know nobody goes in tier one anymore supposedly. However, this is like a really good place to loot here. Oh, there's another speed cola can. There's tons of boxes, tons of things over here you can look in and loot. And usually there's a quite a bit of those ether boxes. Ooh, what is that? That's an eradicator. I think I'd much rather take that than this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that out. All right. Are you guys ready for a bad decision? Let's go make a bad decision. Without a three plate vest, without a pack a punched weapon, minimal perks, we have 5,000 points, which is enough to go into tier three and get ourselves hopefully a legendary weapon off of the wall. Let's do a drive by. That's not legendary. Next wall weapon. Our frame rate is struggling. That's not a legendary. Uh oh. Another wall weapon. This is the last one that's pretty darn close. Is this? It's a legendary. Let's do it. Let's actually drop this guy. Open up our fists. That's the 56. I don't know if that's the good one or not. It's the good one. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it's a legendary weapon. Okay. While we're here, there's no zombies around. We could just go ahead and pack a punch this thing right away. Now we got a pack a punch legendary weapon. I would try to do some 
contracts in here. If there were any contracts in here in tier three. <laughs> oh, that's a better legend. Well, I guess I don't know if that's like a better legendary weapon or not. Well, we accomplished the mission that we set out to do because now we can do some tier two contracts and get even more points. And then the plan was to get double pack a punch rather quickly, go back into tier three, get a whole bunch of points and just get set up super quickly. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen with half the server in tier three, but we'll make do with what we can. I do like where we're at right now. This is one of my favorite places to loot up and Dokabi's not here. So is this that DMR that's actually bugged and doesn't do a lot of damage? I really hope not. It seems to be doing some damage. Not a lot though. Not as much as you would expect from a legendary weapon. Got our energy mine kind of taking him out, which is okay. Let's stick him with the thermite here. Oh, this is a this is slow going, but I think we almost got it. Come on, there we go. Oh boy, <laughs> that was felt a lot harder. Hey, we got the PhD flopper recipe. Cool. And a rare ether tool. Nice. Yeah, I thought this weapon, I thought the DMR whatever 556 was bugged at the launch of the game. That was way back at launch. I don't know if they fixed that or not, but this is like the one marksman rifle that I have yet to get uh, any weapon levels on. With that being said, I think I'm gonna drop my eradicator just so that I can run out with my fists. All right, we only got 20 minutes left, 20 minutes left. We gotta start focusing on what we really need donuts. As I always say in my Zero to Heroes, it's really not the Pack-a-Punch or the perks that you need. It's the rucksack, it's the durable gas mask and all the other good stuff that you need. Man, this gun, this gun ain't great. Oh my goodness, I had to get like the worst wall weapon in the entire game here. I'm gonna do one more contract and then I think I'm gonna go over to my trusty old pop-off power, see if I can't loot myself a large backpack or something good over there at least. Spoiler alert for my little uh, tier two contract testing reward thing. I've done close to a hundred tier two contracts for that video and uh, the rewards for getting like medium rucksacks or two plates, while they're decent, they're not great. So it really is going to be like point grinding and going to buy stations. That's going to be like the meta in order to get those things, which I think you can actually buy a tier three armor plate from tier two. Now that I'm thinking about it. No, I definitely think that's true. I think that's definitely true. Goodness me, this gun is garbage. Oh man. I mean, I guess I don't have dead shot on it, but I feel like other, I feel like other guns with just pack a punch one legendary rarity are much better than this. Maybe I'm being a little too hard on it. Maybe I'm not being accurate enough, but I don't know. That feels accurate enough for me. I mean, it's kill. It's definitely effective. It's like useful, but you know, I just thought it'd be better. Three play. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. People think I fake these videos. People think I, I say things and then they happen and oh, my timing. My timing is just insane. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? Screw that. We're just going to go right for this contract over here because with one more contract, I think we got all we need. <laughs> I want to do an experiment with this uh, raid weapon stash here. I've made the claim a couple times in some previous videos saying that they have nerfed this to the ground. I distinctly remember on launch, especially I think it was my first ever live stream of Modern Warfare Zombies. I remember there just being tons and tons of zombies. I remember there being tons of dogs. I remember there being tons of manglers around here. Like a raid weapon stash was like a really good weapon XP grinding method. But others have said that no donuts, I think we've just gotten better as players, which is a completely fair argument because if you can handle something better, then it doesn't feel as intense as it was when you didn't know how to handle it. So that's a completely fair argument. Oh, there's a super sprinter. I'm going to kill the super sprinter. I don't want him destroying my armor too much. But I remember like, you know, easily there being groups of hellhounds like we have gotten okay well there's the first group of hellhounds at like level 50 here i remember there being like ton like not just one mangler like there's always a mangler but see like there's your one mangler but i remember there being like four or five manglers right down in the comments like do you guys remember that on the launch of mono warfare zombies or am i am i just going crazy here because this is it this is the completion of the thing we got like one round of hellhounds and one mangler so i don't know oh there's a double point we could have had bummer maybe i'm just going crazy let's see all right some decent stuff in there Ooh, a gas mask i'll definitely take that and then the reward rift can i please open the reward rift please nope i guess i can't open the reward rift for some reason hello well uh we'll never know what was in there okay man i find somebody says somebody posted a comment the other day saying like donuts how do you find casimirs all the time 
I have no idea, but you're right. I find Casimirs all the time. Look at these turret circuits. Look at that. That's awesome. I just look in those uh, ether crystal chests all the time. Whenever I see one out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, ooh, chest, go grab it. But also, like, I grab a lot of chests that I don't show you on camera because there's, like, nothing in it. So we're going to hop in the donut mobile. And before we go into tier three, we're going to take a little detour to one of my favorite places to just loot for high tier loot. My home away from home, pop off power. Landing right on top of our favorite roof, we'll see. Oh, there's a two plate vest right there. So that would have been really handy at the beginning of the game. Hop on down here, this, ah, uh, yes, the lockers are all closed, which means we get first dibs here. Let's see if there's anything. Ooh, there's another two plate vest, not too bad. Going through this, usually, oh, there's a medium rucksack and there's a large rucksack let's go isn't that wonderful oh that's so wonderful whoever commented this weeks months whatever years ago thank you you are a lifesaver now what that allows us to do is that allows us to actually go into pop off power and we can actually tier two pack a punch this absolutely garbage weapon. So now it's slightly less garbage, which will then allow us to go into tier three and actually be able to survive. But first we are gonna need to go to a buy station and get ourselves a durable gas mask. Let's go. And I believe that is us all geared up and ready to go. Now, what would really just make my day is if I could do a contract here in tier three, that would just really make me the happiest happiest person in the world and it's all right fair is fair you know i'm not mad at the players i'm mad at the contract cooldown time <laughs> plus i don't think this gun is gonna take on a mega abomination very well we're actually gonna do a little trick here i'm gonna stow one of these and then i'm gonna go in get some more armor not some more armor i do need some more armor i'm gonna go get more thermites at this ammo cache right here oh that's a mimic just waiting for me isn't it that's all right i'll hop up here did they make that taller i feel like they made that taller that was a harder jump now but luckily this is actually not a bad uh not a bad location for a oh i just missed it bummer not a bad location for a mega abomination oh he's actually going after one of the other dogs that's perfect oh let's thermite him thermite him awesome very good i think these guys are doing most of the work for me that is unfortunate it, but I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get on in there. Oh, look, there's the uh, tombstone thing. Tombstone little thing in there. Okay, cool. I got Juggernaug and to oh, Tombstone. Look at that. Nice. But like anybody could do that HVT contract with some help, we need to do something like this Outlast contract. I'm not going to lie. I do not have high hopes for this weapon in this Outlast contract, beautiful people. I think I'm going to get some Casimirs on the bar for this guy. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. I'm really happy with this run. I always saw those people. And, and you know what? If we had a better weapon, I would love to go to the Dark Ether. But just right now, with this pea shooter, not a chance of this happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this Casimir right now. I'm gonna use it because I see some trouble a afoot here. This disciple is not gonna die by my hand here. In fact, I've got quite a bit of Casimirs here. I'm definitely gonna take advantage of them. I don't care if it's cheap. It's in the game. <laughs> I've got nothing to prove to anybody. I mean, I guess I do have something to prove. I gotta prove that this gun is garbage. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. I'm gonna get my decoys back, throw a decoy, give me a break here. We've got garbage. Garbage loot, okay. See, there's proof. My luck isn't always great. Now, what's extra special about this is the fact that now I have 10,000 points, I can come here and buy myself a juggernaut. And like I said, if I got a better weapon, I might have done a tier three pack a punch on it. Maybe gone and grinded. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What the heck was that? That was like critical damage in like two hits. I probably would have grinded for like a sigil and like gone to the dark ether, but you know what? Baby steps here, going to tier three on just a nothing account on, not on a nothing soldier. That was pretty fun. I've never done that before. Next time I'm going to pay more attention so that way I don't buy a garbage gun in tier three. I know you can get like, you know, like actual good guns in there. That would have changed this whole entire game around. But man, I thought snipers were bad in this game. And look, I recognize that this isn't like the flashiest zero to hero that I've ever done or that's even on YouTube. But you know what? It was something fun. It was something different. You know, you're incorporating all of the different threat levels into here. You add a little bit of randomness in 
into it, which, you know, at some points can be fun. You know, hey, you get this weapon or that weapon, and oh my goodness, you get this loot, that loot. You can go into tier three a little bit earlier than me. I don't know. In my opinion, this was actually a lot more fun than doing the three plate vest through the mercenary strongholds. This was like, I don't know, like it's zombies and I don't want to fight mercenaries when I'm playing zombies. So this was really nice. It was a really cool change of pace. And would you look at that right next to all my other operators. That is awesome. And now we're ready for dark ether runs. We can use that juggernaut and that new dark ether and oh, tier three runs. This is great. I really love the zero to hero stuff. It reminds me of classic zombies starting from nothing, having a game plan, setting out different tasks and earning points and earning rewards. And ah, it's just, it's fun. And especially because that new containment level is so powerful. If you want to see just how powerful it can be, be sure to check out this video and stay beautiful.